Thank you for being here. I'm meteorologist Brian Shields. Plenty to cover with some strong tropical waves. More coming our way in this little spin here near Bermuda. And thank you to the thousands of new subscribers just over the last couple days. Thank you for being part of this weather community. It's, I think it's the best weather community on the planet, no doubt. All right, let's get a look at this little spin near Bermuda. Looks like it's kind of lost its window for development. Uh, either way, that would spin away. But look at this train of rain and storms, tropical waves sliding into the Caribbean. Now, where could we see some development? Well, I've been watching this spot overnight near Bermuda, but that spin to the east of Bermuda is weakening at this time. So at this point, it should not become a named system, but still kind of monitoring that, but uh, not a threat uh, at all. But still still watching the southwestern Caribbean and southern Caribbean because there's going to be so much rain, right? The, there will be a slight chance of some development, but more so again on the eastern Pacific side. But it's this kind of a train of tropical waves we've been watching. Now, as we get into next month, all of this action is going to nudge a little bit to the north. And as it does, that's when it could, uh, will become more conducive for some tropical development. And then we'll get some named systems. Hopefully no big impacts, but I will be tracking those for you right here on this channel. Now here's uh, Newfoundland, so the Atlantic region of Canada. This is that little area near Bermuda losing any real chance of becoming a named system, just kind of scooting out into the open waters of the North Atlantic. Right here's Bermuda. This little spin is over here, running now into a cooler water, a lot of wind shear. That's above our heads. That's a good thing in the hurricane season, knocking off the tops of uh, uh, the thunderstorms trying to develop in that area. Elsewhere, very warm and warming, especially the northern sections of the Caribbean, Bahamas, back through the central and eastern Gulf of Mexico. Super warm water. Now, we expect it to get warm this time of year, keeping it all in perspective. It is summertime, but we've seen the numbers really shooting up over just the last couple of days because of that heat that has really been in place above average temperatures for a lot of us. Now, the first name on the list is Andrea. We don't have that yet. That little spin to the east of Bermuda had a slight shot at uh, getting that, and you see the list of names, Imelda, Jerry, Karen, Lorenzo, Melissa, Van, Wendy. So uh, it is, uh, we haven't had a name system yet, uh, but as we get into, that's kind of typical sometimes for uh, June. We're running a little below average now, uh, but of course, as we get into July, we'll see everything kind of shifting a little bit more to the north. That's when we'll get a better chance of some name systems. Now, watching out for this area here. This is the southwestern Caribbean pulling back towards Central America, Nicaragua, back through Colombia. Really heavy rain. I've been mentioning the mudslides in Nicaragua. That is happening. I've been trying to give you the heads up on that for days and days. Bay of Campeche, we're seeing some of that rain. And here's all of that action. We have one tropical wave here, another here, and another one here. More and more coming. And we've been seeing them sticking together. And that means we're going to not only see a better chance of development down the road, but the higher flood threat. That's the big concern through parts of Central America at this time. And then I'll be watching us in the Eastern Caribbean because we're going to start to see the rain kind of stacking up. Trinidad, for example, over toward Grenada. More and more of this rain will be filtering in. Guyana, northern sections today. Here comes that next tropical wave. No organization, but tons of tropical downpours with this starting to feed into Trinidad. So that rain chance will be getting higher again. It's just one after another. So we could see over the next three days some of this white shading in here. Some spots, especially south side of uh, Trinidad, northeastern Venezuela, northern Guyana, over 100 millimeters of rain. Giving you the heads up. Thank you for sharing this information. We don't need a name system to get the flooding, as we well know, and we're going to see big pockets of rain that will be headed our way. Now, just about a week ago, it was super quiet in the Atlantic. There is still some dust around, but now you could see some of these tropical waves really hanging together. So one's about to push in, but another one right about here, that's going to be coming our way too. And that will increase the chance of flooding. And as those move through the Caribbean, that could increase the chance of development, especially in the Western Caribbean, even the Gulf of Mexico uh, later this month and more so into next month. But here are some of the rain. Guyana, Trinidad near Grenada, ABC Islands. We'll have a shot of some rain over the next couple of days. Heavy stuff, even life-threatening flooding. Parts of Nicaragua, can't stress that enough because you even see by tomorrow more of that. Watching Costa Rica, Panama. Colombia for some of the rain. Right on the edge of it tomorrow as we get back toward northeastern Venezuela and Trinidad, but there's more of the rain. And these tropical waves just move across, stacking up in the Western Caribbean. So you see what happens by midweek. 
This is by Wednesday, right? A ton of green on the map. The yellow, the oranges, that would be heavier rain just building in through here, mainly south of Jamaica. Jamaica, Cuba, Haiti, uh, the DR, Puerto Rico, hit or miss storms. Little pocket of rain in the Bahamas. I'll show you that as I lift to the north up toward the U.S. in just a second. But then this rain is just kind of building further. We'll see how close it gets on Thursday to the Cayman Islands and Jamaica. No big signs of development, but anytime we get a big blob of rain, over the warm water. I watch it very carefully. If I see any signs of development out of this area, I'll let you know. More so, a better chance on the eastern Pacific side. But you see by the end of the week, this is by Friday, uh, the Yucatan Peninsula, even over toward Merida, Cancun, Belize, Ladyville, Hopkins, swinging back toward Guatemala and El Salvador. The rain builds further. We'll monitor the Cayman Islands and Jamaica together, and then we'll see more tropical waves that will be sliding in to the eastern Caribbean. Some of us need the rain. The northeastern Caribbean, we have been so dry. Uh, Anguilla, Antigua, Barbuda, St. Kitts and Nevis. Now here's what's going on. Here's that spin over toward Ontario and Quebec and the Great Lakes. Severe weather possible in through Wisconsin, uh, parts of Iowa and Illinois. Here's that little spin trying to leave Bermuda. But this here, the remnants of Eric just kind of feeding in still. New Mexico tomorrow, while there's a chance of severe weather over toward parts of Chicago, New Mexico tomorrow, there is that chance of additional flooding because everything kind of got tied in lifting in from Mexico, uh, Eric kind of opened up the door to some of that moisture. By the middle of the week, severe storm potential northern U.S. watching back toward the foothills of the Rockies and then watching that little pocket of rain near the Bahamas. We may see some of the rain uh, just kind of a skirting by central and uh, northern Bahamas as we go through the end of the week. Then by the end of the week, Thursday and Friday with this area through the Great Lakes and that severe weather threat, scattered storms eastern seaboard, southeastern U.S., mid-Atlantic, right up through New England. England. It gets more active. Still watching out for some of the rain parts in New Mexico, not as much Texas, but there's some of that rain again moving toward the Atlantic region of Canada and another system pulling by. Uh, you see Winnipeg to the south helping to again draw in some more of that moisture from Mexico. It's crazy. Get a system in Canada drawing in moisture from Mexico. Everything is connected. Now, as we go through the end of the week, the seas are going to build. Watch this. Western Caribbean, south side of Jamaica, south of the Cayman Islands. Seas really building. So watching some of our islands, the Corn Islands, uh, Roatan, uh, Providencia, San Andres, those uh, waves will be building, especially this pocket in here, Belize and Honduras north side. Watching out for some of the uh, seas that could get up to about four meters. So giving you the heads up, 10, 11, 12 feet in some spots just sitting offshore as that moisture piles up in the Western Caribbean. So some spotty showers and storms around. Bahamas, though, we'll see a little uptick in some of the rain by the middle of the week. We could get an inch of rain in some spots, uh, maybe two, so upwards of 50 millimeters of rain. This here, parts of Jamaica, Cayman Islands, Cuba, Haiti, the DR, even Puerto Rico, would be some spotty thunderstorms. Not all of us will get the rain. This is where we have been dry, watching some of the dust around, especially tomorrow and Wednesday. So if you have breathing issues, it could be a little bit worse around St. Kitts and Nevis. Montserrat, Ceiba, Antigua, Barbuda. And then here's that rain. We'll see how close it gets to Grenada. This is that rain that's going to be moving in with these tropical waves that surge in extreme northern areas of Venezuela, Guyana, and even Suriname. That's where we'll see that flood potential. This is what we'll be tracking throughout the week. And then I'll monitor if anything tries to develop. Huge concern here, Costa Rica, Panama, some spots again the next three days. And I mentioned this will continue all week long, uh, upwards of 250 millimeters of rain. We could see a foot or more of rain, a life-threatening flooding parts of Nicaragua, especially the east side. So thank you for sharing some of this information closer to the Caribbean. That better chance of getting some of the rain, of course, watching Costa Rica. Here's some of that rain that will be feeding in through Mexico City. We'll see that chance of some flooding. And then here's New Mexico with that rain and that potential of flooding. There could be a couple inches of rain the next few days. There will be flooding in parts of New Mexico. Most of it, most of it would be off toward uh, the uh, west of Texas. This in through here will be scattered storms back through the Carolinas, even parts of Georgia, Mississippi, and Alabama over the next few days. So 40% chance of a shower storm for us today in Jamaica, a 40% chance in the Cayman Islands. But watching everything building by the end of the week, Trinidad, we have that 60% chance. Some of that rain is starting to work in already for some of us. I'll be watching your comments. Meanwhile, Barbados, rain chance at about 30%. A lot of us did have some showers, though, over the last couple days. Same thing in St. 
St. Lucia, just about a 30% chance. 50% chance of the rain in Grenada. We may see some late today and even tonight while you're sleeping. St. Vincent, the Grenadines could get a shower or two even tonight again. Overnight, we could see a few showers isolated in Martinique and about a 20 to 30 percent chance from Dominica back through Guadeloupe. Passing shower will be possible uh, through midweek. As we swing to the north, Antigua Barbuda, see that rain chance on the low side, watching the dust around. 20 percent chance. St. Kitts and Nevis and Montserrat, 10 to 20 percent chance. That's it, and only a 10 percent chance of getting some rain in Anguilla and St. Bart's. Enjoy the sunshine, but boy, we need to get the rain in some spots and watching out for the dust. St. Martin, Sabin, Stacia, rain chance 10 percent. 40 percent chance in Puerto Rico, hit or miss shower or thunder thunderstorm. British and U.S. Virgin Islands mainly on the dry side the next couple of days watching the dust. Meanwhile, Bahamas, some scattered areas of rain, northern and central Bahamas, especially by the middle of the week. Turks and Caicos, 30% chance of a shower scraping by tomorrow. The Dominican Republic, a 30% chance today. Only a 20% chance in Haiti. And this time of year, no doubt, if we're dry, we are super hot. Belize, we'll see the rain chance starting to pick up a little bit more so by the end of the week. It is going to get wetter in Belize, giving you the head up. Aruba, Carousel, Bonaire. You see that rain chance on the elevated side at times the next few days. We'll be watching out for some scattered showers trying to move through. Northern Guyana, better chance of flooding. About a 50 to 60 percent chance in uh, Suriname. 40% chance of getting some scattered thunderstorms favoring eastern end of Cuba. Monitoring that flood in Costa Rica and Panama, especially Costa Rica. Closer you are to Nicaragua. That higher chance of flooding. The life-threatening flooding. Watching the river the mudslide potential in Nicaragua. It is going to last all week long. Honduras, eventually that rain starts to lift to the north and will monitor that flood threat. Meanwhile, Guatemala and El Salvador, at least as of now, rain chance is down to 40%, monitoring some of the flooding around Mexico City as we swing over the next couple of days. Rain chance about 40% in the Yucatan Peninsula. End of the week, it will be getting higher. 60 to 70% chance in northern Colombia, about an 80% chance the next couple of days in parts of northern Venezuela, watching the flooding as well. Bermuda watching that spin that is sitting off toward the uh, east. So tropical waves moving through. More coming. That flood threat is around. It's only going to get higher. There's a lot to highlight this uh, week. Some development is possible. In particular, I'll be watching the Western Caribbean and the Gulf late this month into early July. Thank you for your trust. Have a really good start to your week.